Hey everyone, how are you all doing today? I have a story about my Camaro getting stuck in snow. And now, back when I was on my college bowling team, we would go on trips to go to different tournaments. Now, basically what would happen is we would have a thing called conference, which I think it happened at the end of every month. And we had to go to a different bowling center around the world. And we had to basically bowl a tournament against everyone in our league. And we had one in New Jersey. And that's probably my least favorite place to go just because it's so far away for no reason. It's about like a two hour drive from my house. And we didn't have to go there. We really didn't. We could have had it somewhere else. But anyways, we could have went anywhere, literally anywhere. So we decided to go to this New Jersey tournament for conference. And it was supposed to snow that day. Now, we didn't know that. My dad and I were driving up there and we were getting ready for the tournament. And it was about to snow really hard. And the whole trip there, it wasn't snowing at all. It was pretty good. And I fairly... I was fairly new to my Camaro, I just got it like a year back, so we didn't know how well it drove in the snow because we never got it in the snow, we never drove it in the snow. So my dad said, hey, you know, we're not going to take the other cars we have, we're going to take your Camaro, let's take your Camaro all the way to New Jersey and have fun with it. So I was like, okay, that's fine, you know, sure. So we didn't know it was supposed to snow, like I said, so we were going to New Jersey and everything was okay. We bowled the tournament, everything was alright, I think we came in second or third, it doesn't really matter, but... We did that thing, we did the whole thing, and we were going to leave, and it's just downpouring in snow. Literally, it's just snowing nonstop. And it was out of hand, it was like a blizzard, literally, it was just inches and inches of snow. So, it just kept going, it kept snowing, we couldn't, like, stop it, obviously, we couldn't help it, but uh, it just kept snowing, and it was out of hand, out of hand. So, after we finished the tournament, my dad and I go to get in my car, and now this whole parking lot, it was really bad, I don't know exactly what the bowling center was called, but it's in New Jersey, and apparently there is a giant, like, I don't know what to call it, like an archway, but it was giant arch in the parking lot, so we were parked on, like, a hill, and we had to, like, go down it, and then go out the other way, and it was just all on this kind of bendy-shaped thing, so we couldn't actually get out. We were actually drifting in the snow. Now, we didn't know how bad the Camaro drove in snow. Like I said, this was the first time we ever took it out in snow, and we weren't expecting anything like this, especially in a blizzard. So, we go to leave, and we just cannot even leave the parking lot. We are skidding around, we are just trying everything, we're trying literally anything. And we finally get to a point about an hour and 30 minutes later, where we were almost out of the parking lot, just almost, not fully out of the parking lot, almost out of the parking lot, and we are going to drive away, and the car just like stops working, it just does not work, our traction on the tires aren't responding, it was really, really poor, I don't know, it just was not fun at all, so we actually had to get out of the car, my dad stayed in the car, he was driving, and I got out, and two other guys from the bowling alley came outside, and we were pushing my car, literally, we were pushing a 2010 Camaro, up this thing with blizzards coming down, snow everywhere. We're just trying to not fall and slip and stuff. We have little cardboard pieces under the tires so that it will kind of do traction and go out. So we're trying so hard to just get this car out of the parking lot. And not only that, but it was just so difficult to do while it's all just pouring down on us, trying to get our car to work and leave. So after about two and a half hours, we finally get out of the parking lot, which was a little ridiculous. I mean, two hours to get out of a parking lot, that's pretty ridiculous. And not only that, but it's a two-hour drive home. We're about to hit, like, rush hour where it's nonstop traffic, and we were not looking forward to that. We were even just worried about making it out of New Jersey because it was snowing so bad and our car was not responding so well that we actually were thinking about getting a hotel and staying the night the whole time. And we were just, like, really nervous and upset that we were going to get into an accident or something like that. So it turned, it, turned, it turned out that we got out of the parking lot, snowing still, really bad. We're barely going. We're maybe going five miles per hour the entire time. Literally the entire time we're going five miles per hour. Just inching it, hoping we don't skid out, hoping we don't hit a tree or something. So we are getting to the end of the street that the bowling alley was on. We're finally about to get to like a main road. And what happened was that we... We're trying to turn and we're like skidding out, we're pushing out, like we're tail ending and we're just going out and we're almost hitting things. We're skidding all over the place. And at one point, we just couldn't go because it was under a little like hill thing. I don't know, it was, we were on a hill. And me and my dad were actually rocking back and forth, literally just back and forth, trying to get the car to just push up a little bit so we can go down the hill and kind of just ride it out. 
just to rock back and forth and get down it. So by the time we got on to the actual highway to go home, it was about three and a half hours into it. And we turned this two hour driving trip into an eight hour driving extravaganza. It was literally so bad. We got home at like 10 at night, 11 at night, because we were driving the entire time going five miles per hour. We could barely merge onto the highway because we were trying to merge. There was so much snow that we actually were like, tailing out and just like i don't know we were skidding out the entire time on the road and people were like five miles behind us and five miles ahead of us because they didn't want us to hit anything they saw how much we were wobbling how much we were shaking and we had no idea once again how bad the camaro drove in snow and it was just such a bad experience because a two-hour trip turned into an eight-hour trip and it was literally insane literally we could not believe that it took eight hours we could not believe how bad the car was actually in the snow but we were struggling so bad. We literally went through hell. My dad was getting all frustrated. I was getting frustrated. We didn't know what to do. We really just decided, hey, you know what? We're going to go home. We're going to try our best. doesn't matter how long it takes. We're going to go for it. And it turned out while we were going on the highway, we were actually following a plow. So the plow was kind of making a little bit of a thing. It can't really put down the plow on the highway while other cars are driving just in case of an accident and it scoops it up and stuff. But it did try to plow every now and then and we just kind of followed it and we kind of just stay behind it a little bit so we can get out too and it was just really 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 bad it didn't work very well and we finally got home after eight hours it was not worth it conference was really really bad we bowled terrible we came in either second or third but we didn't bowl that good no one had fun it was snowing it took us forever to get home and it was just a miserable miserable experience we probably should have read the manual on how to like do the traction thing because now i learned that in my camaro if you hit a little button it's like right on the console if you hit a button it turns off something or turns on something with the tires traction and it really helps in the snow time. It's not good still. I still don't recommend driving my car in the snow. Whenever I had snow in college, I would just not go out. I would just say, Dad, I'm staying home today. I'm not driving my car in the snow. Absolutely fuck that. So I did not ever drive in the snow really after that point because thank God I was with my dad at that moment because if I wasn't and I drove in the snow alone, I would have died, absolutely, because I would have had no idea what to do. My dad's way more experienced with driving. So I would have had no idea on how to use that little button. I'd have no idea how to actually drive my car in the snow. I'd be skidding. I probably would have hit like nine trees. It would have been miserable. But thank God we found that out together because we both were safe. We both helped each other get out. And I learned not to drive my car in the snow. So if you have a Camaro or a 2010 Camaro like I do, um, if you have anything that drives like that, do not take it in the snow. Trust me, you will not be happy with your performance. I promise you that. Get a four-wheel drive car. Make sure you're good with that. Get a Jeep or a Mercedes or something. Get something that has good traction, four-wheel drive, that way, or all-wheel drive, whatever. That way, you can get out and be okay when in a snowstorm. So that's all for this story. It was miserable. I got out, and it was okay, but it was literally just miserable, and it was just such a bad time. I don't know. I just had no, I was frustrated. And uh, that's the story. So if you have any similar stories to that, make sure you comment them down below. I will read through all of them. I would like to read your stories. If you've ever gotten stuck in snow, if you ever had a new car and you didn't know how it drove, tell me about it in the comments below. And I hope you all enjoyed that story. I will talk to you all in the next one. Later, everyone.